The members of this club have much to be appreciated for. The Kiwanis have generously provided many programs and special services to our communities here and around the world. What better way to bring our communities and families together this summer than with the barbecue? Today I'd like to share you, with you three ways to amp up your grilling skills. So let's get cooking. I have three recipes I brought with me to share with you that are our family favorites. They are fabulous flank steak, perfect patio pizza, and salsa salmon. I chose these recipes because they are just as easy to prepare as hot dogs and hamburgers, equally as inexpensive, and require just about the same amount of time and effort. When I interviewed several random people to ask them what their favorite barbecue recipe was, everybody said flank steak, or steak. Everybody said steak. Uh, in a Working Mother's Magazine 25 years ago, I got a recipe for marinade for a steak that would use an economical piece of steak, such as flame or lemon broil. And all you have to do is put seven simple ingredients in a Ziploc bag. It has equal parts of orange juice, soy, and honey, and a few spices that you have in your, in your cupboard. The, the many times that we've done this, there's been times we didn't have orange juice, we used lemonade. There's been times we didn't have honey, we used brown sugar. And it always turns out wonderful. This weekend was family work day at Mom and Dad Johnson's, and we actually prepared this recipe for 12 people, and this is the platter that we used, and the steak, wow. and the vegetables. And while your flake steak is resting when we take it off the grill, it only takes about 10 minutes for the meat to rest, and it's always important to let your steaks rest so the juices can redistribute. You never want to cut a steak right off the grill or all the juices will run out. Even a poor quality piece of meat will be delicious if you let it rest. And during that 10 minutes while it's resting, you can grill some vegetables to go along with it. I'll pass out these instructions. There's just a few. Take one if you want, pass it up if you don't. That gives really easy instructions on how to prepare each of these meals. The second one is salsa salmon, and this one actually was the least expensive. If, uh, on Friday, I bought a Copper River salmon at Fred Meyer for $23 for a four and a half pound salmon. I added 10 more dollars to that, which created corn on the cob, a bag salad, and believe it or not, some wine to go with it. I brought these along, these are two of my favorite wines, and I don't know if you're familiar with Trader Joe's, but this particular wine, exactly, this particular wine is actually worn with one award, this Cabernet, and they're $2.99. So we call them three duck chunks. So it makes a really great uh, addition to your meal. On the salmon, we bought the Copper River salmon, we brought it home on Sunday to serve to our family, and we just grilled the salmon on the barbecue grill, and we add some salsa. And salsa is a really simple thing that everyone can do. It's just dicing some tomatoes, jalapenos, and onion, adding a little lime juice and salt and pepper. We add fruit to ours when we put it on top of salmon, and the best way to do this is to put your salmon skin side down on the grill, and that way when it's ready to flip, the skin will kind of hold your salmon together so you can get a beautiful grill marks and a beautiful whole filet. It also can be done with steaks. You top it with the salsa, shut the lid, and grill it for about six more minutes, and the salsa gets really intense and sweet and delicious on top of the salmon. And you can grill some corn on the pot at the same time. So in just a few minutes, you've got an amazing meal, not just hot dogs and hamburgers. And finally, our family favorite, which is the perfect patio pizza. I brought along with me today one that I made last night, and as a student that's taking eight classes on a student budget, I neither have lots of money nor lots of time. And this is a go-to recipe for our family because it's water, flour, yeast, and salt. And a lot of people are scared of yeast. They don't want to use a tomato bread dough or use yeast. But it's basically just a packet of powder that you put in the flour and add water, just like Jello. Nobody knows why Jello gels, but yeast is the same thing. It does its magic. You don't have to worry about it. It works out perfect every time. And when we make these pizzas, we actually just, you can mix the dough with a fork, you can mix the dough with your hands, or I put it in a KitchenAid mixer, fit it with a dough hook, and it's done in just a couple minutes. One recipe of dough makes four nine-inch pizzas, so you can serve eight to 10 people, it goes great with the Cabernet, a quick green salad, and you have an amazing meal for your family in just about 20 minutes. We grab whatever we have in the fridge, a leftover chicken breast, uh, vegetables, whatever, you can showcase some really interesting cheeses. And it's also delicious just by itself like this with uh, hummus or as a dessert. 
One thing that's really fun about this recipe too is it's great for if you have a sleepover with kids, because instead of cutting the dough into four pieces and rolling it into four pieces, you can cut it into eight pieces, and who doesn't like a little individual pan pizza that you decorate yourself? These, all three of these recipes I've shared with you today are just as easy to make and as inexpensive and as simple to get together as hot dogs and hamburger barbecue. But to amp up your barbecue skills, it's easy to do. <coughs> In this book, You the Owner's Manual, it tells about all the vegetables and delicious ingredients, salmon, and what it does for your body. It can, it can prevent cancer, osteoporosis, boost your immune system, and just make healthy bodies. We need to teach our families how to eat, our friends and family how to eat. So each of these recipes are easy and affordable as the old standby and truly delicious. There is one big difference though, they are really good for you. You will feel like putting <coughs> frisbee or croquet instead of recovering in your lawn chair after <coughs> dinner and still look great in those golf shorts. These are as e easy to pack to the park in Ziploc baggies. We actually do that at the pizza at the park all the time. We bring all of our ingredients in a brown paper bag and we rip open the paper bag, put some flour on it, roll out the pizzas, put them on the grill, shake the flour off, and when the pizzas come off the grill, we just cut them right on the paper bag on the table. So you can do something better for your friends and family and not spend all day or any extra money. So this summer, let's get cooking. Yeah, I want to know where you live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Right, well, cooking this weekend. <laughs> I want to thank everyone, and it is especially gratifying. Uh, I know it to myself, but to the to the club to have our young people up today and, and to come out and show us what they're doing. And Dr. Phil, we really appreciate you coming out.